What's up, you guys? So I wanted to share a Cartoon Network promo that I bet you none of you guys have ever seen because this promo actually came out in Latin America. And this has got some stuff that we've never seen before in any promo, bumper, or any show that is yet to come out. So the promo starts off with a, with a dad and his daughter waiting in some kind of a waiting area. And his daughter is watching some Cartoon Network shows. As she begins to watch, the father begins to reminisce about his childhood, bringing up shows such as Dexter's Laboratory, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and of course, the Powerpuff Girls. The daughter recognizes the Powerpuff Girls, and she says, yeah, I know them too. And in fly in the girls from the 2016 reboot. Now, how cool is this? This is something we have never seen before. The original Powerpuff Girls and the Powerpuff Girls from the 2016 reboot are together in the same room in a Cartoon Network officially released promo. How cool is this? The dad says that he believes the originals are superior to the remake, as well as a lot of the newer cartoons that are also coming out. Another man interjects, saying that if that's the case, then he believes that the cartoons that he grew up with, which were a lot of Hanna-Barbera shows, such as Wacky Races, Flintstones, and Jetsons, if that's the case that the originals are better, then that would mean that the Hanna-Barbera characters are actually the best ones. Then we have some other human characters interjecting their own favorite cartoons, and all of a sudden, the place fills up with a ton of Cartoon Network characters. The dad steps up and says that each era of Cartoon Network should be appreciated for what they are, what they bring to the table, and how good they are on their own. Of course, all of the cartoons kind of try to kind of understand that point of view, but they don't, and of course they just continue to argue for eternity, which is very much so a funny mirror on how the community is nowadays in a majority of how cartoons are viewed, and specifically Cartoon Network, right? You know, lots of fans out there prefer the new ones, or they prefer the old ones, and, and of course you get some people out there who are like, well, let's look at the best of both worlds, let's see what they both bring to the table, let's see what they can both do, can, and can both accomplish, and of course everybody's like, still gonna argue, still gonna fight, still gonna say, mine are better, mine are better, you know, it's a great commentary on on modern day um, fans of uh, inspired shows. Now we get the post credit scene of this promo where we have a man who is on a chair looking like he's getting prepared for a root canal. He's overhearing the arguments going on in the other room saying, man, I don't get it, but I prefer Nick, meaning Nickelodeon, which is a fun jab because... There was only one other Cartoon Network promo that comes to mind where they specifically reference Nickelodeon, and that's that famous promo of them invading Nickelodeon where it's got the orange background and the Cartoon Cartoon Fridays characters come in saying, hey, we don't have long, we've got about maybe 30 seconds. Here's a quick Cartoon Fridays, Cartoon Cartoon Fridays ad for Cartoon Network. Go check us out while you guys are over here on Nickelodeon, right? So this is the first time, in my opinion, um, that I've seen them reference Nickelodeon in a Cartoon Network uh, promo. And uh, I thought that that was just really funny. It was very unique. Well, now we have Bugs Bunny coming in with a drill to give him his root canal, almost like he's mocking him for his Nickelodeon comments, saying, you know, that he's come to the, to, to the wrong place, right? However, I will say that I find that comment from Bugs Bunny to be a bit odd, right? Because if we go back, there was a point in time in which uh, Looney Tunes did air on Nickelodeon. So it, I find it funny that Bugs Bunny is kind of like... Because I know that Bugs Bunny is more recognized as a Cartoon Network character um, because he's been on the network for the longest. However, he has been on Nickelodeon in the past. Um, you know, as, as well as Tiny Toons Adventures and lots of other, um, you know, Looney Tunes inspired and styled shows. Um, they've been shared on both networks here and there. Uh, so I just found that funny. However, this commercial in and of itself is just great. I love it from beginning to end. I love the commentary uh, of what's happening with fan bases, um, both in Cartoon Network as well as you can kind of compare this to 
any kind of fan base where there's the original and then a remake and a reboot or newer stuff as opposed to older stuff. This is just such a great social commentary on that. And I love this uh, promo a lot. I'm going to leave it in the comment section down below um, for you guys to check out. And like always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you guys are not subscribed, please sure to make sure to subscribe for tons of great future Cartoon Network co uh, content, Nickelodeon, anything cartoon that we loved growing up as kids. But anyways, y'all, that's the video for today. Leave your comments down below. And as always, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.